I have condemned unequivocally the horrifying and unprecedented 7 October acts of terror by Hamas in Israel. Nothing can justify the deliberate killing, injuring, and kidnapping of civilians or the launching of rockets against civilian targets. All hostages must be treated humanely and released immediately and without conditions. And I respectfully note the presence among us of members of their families. Excellencies, it is important to also recognize the attacks by Hamas did not happen in a vacuum. The Palestinian people have been subjected to 56 years of suffocating occupation. They have seen their land steadily devoured by settlements and plagued by violence, their economy stifled, their people displaced, and their homes demolished. Their hopes for a political solution to their plight have been vanishing. But the grievances of the Palestinian people cannot justify the appalling attacks by Hamas, and those appalling attacks cannot justify the collective punishment of the Palestinian people. Excellencies, even war has rules. We must demand that all parties uphold and respect their obligations under international humanitarian law. Take constant care in the conduct of military operations to spare civilians, and respect and protect hospitals, and respect the inviolability of UN facilities, which today are sheltering more than 600,000 Palestinians. The relentless bombardment of Gaza by Israeli forces, the level of civilian casualties, and the wholesale destruction of neighborhoods continue to mount and are deeply alarming. I mourn and honor dozens of UN colleagues working for UNRWA. Sadly, at least 35 and counting. I want to remind and maybe explain why there was a need to cancel the meeting, because I've been serving here for the last three years. And I saw and I felt the impartiality of the Secretary General and how, how he gives the feelings that he doesn't care for this, the, how he, he doesn't really care. Expressing empty words is not enough. He doesn't really care for the suffering of the Israeli civilians. But this morning, when he started that speech, his speech at the Sec Security Council by, by saying that Hamas attacks did not happen in a vacuum, this, this is really something that every decent person, it should be unfathomable for each and every one of us. Mr. Secretary General, the UN was established to prevent atrocities, to prevent such atrocities, like the barbaric atrocities that Hamas committed. But the UN is failing. The UN is failing. And you, Mr. Secretary General, have lost all morality and impartiality. Because when you say those terrible words that these heinous attacks did not happen in a vacuum, you are tolerating terrorism. And by tolerating terrorism, you are justifying terrorism. Hamas, as the minister explained, beheaded babies, burned families, raped women, abducted kids, babies, Holocaust survivors. And the SG is blaming the victim? You are blaming Israel? This is a pure blood libel. This is a pure blood libel. And I think that the Secretary General must resign.